Good morning. Time to get the sprayer going. So we are going to take it up to the barn uh, and we're going to fill the tanks with water. Got you. Yeah. Uh, we're going to pull out the booms, check the nozzles. Let's go. Bye. Let's get water. Back it right up here and then we'll fold it out, okay? We're gonna do it up here. Come here. You ready to wash them? No. I just got it. Uh, 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 Good job. You're an expert. Okay, go do the next one. Push it. Ship on there. Here you go. Okay, here you go. Got one more. I got two more. Oh. Okay, it's on there. I got it. Right here. <clears throat> right here. Job, Steiger. I got one more. No, all gone. You did it. Yeah. Turn it on and let me come back here. Okay. Start it up. Put <laughs> the awesome. suction pump on. I let it up about 1500. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Run it up to 
2000. 2000? Wander up and then hit your spray button. Why do you want the boom up? So I can see, see what kind of pattern. Oh, pattern. I need to find off the ground. Okay. Let's do this. Well, good morning. This is a couple days later after getting the sprayer going. We did spray most of our corn um, with pre-emerge. Uh, some things came up. I didn't catch it um, on video. But today we uh, we got a rain. And since the rain uh, kept us out of the field, today we are able to get back in the field and finish spraying. So that's what we're going to do this morning. Um, finish getting the pre-merge down. So we're headed up to the barn and we're going to fill the sprayer. We have our thousand gallon nurse tank, if you want to call it. We try to keep it full so that we can, um, when he needs to refill, he can come and pump the water quickly um, into our 800 gallon tank on our sprayer. We have our uh, atrazine and Resicor, our pre, it's our pre-emerge that he's going to put in the sprayer. Um, and we're gonna spray our corn.
Here, start putting it out. Okay. I have an 800 gallon tank on my sprayer. I'm running 10 gallons per acre, so I should be able to do approximately 80 acres. Let's go. Let's go. have little baby corn coming up yay it's a good sign so we use a GPS and he just laid off the field let's see if we can take y'all for a ride about 10 and a half miles an hour which is a little fast when you're trying to hit a 30 inch road but everybody does it so we run over minimal corn with the small tires on this sprayer the worst part about it is when you got obstacles in these fields like these high lines coming up here the worst thing they did is put high lines in farm fields so we like to try to get this all the pre-merch down before the corn starts coming up. But due to our timely winds this year, we're a little late on getting it down. About three, a little bit of rain, about three or four days later than what we'd like. This field ain't really emerged that much, which is probably okay. I mean, this won't hurt it, but it gave a chance for the weeds to start coming on up. And as you can see, we hit the pole. We're on the back up. I misjudged it. Bye-bye. Now we'll run back in here and see if we can get lined back up after we miss some of it. I don't run row shut off. I don't have shut off in this thing, so any kind of shut off I have to do, I have to flip switches. We've never upgraded the section control. I've ran a lot of sprayers with it, and I'd love to have it on mine. I just can't justify the money that it costs on the acres that I go over every year. I only spray about six, 700 acres a year on different passes, so 
so it's kind of one of them things it doesn't really pay for itself on my end when i bought this sprayer i actually told my wife it was for her let her drive the grasshopper that's how i justify let her let me borrow the money to buy it and this is the first time she's ever been in it and that was 11 years ago you gave me four babies i've been a little busy we have to plan for the future so i gotta raise the next generation of farmers okay he's got about 12 acres left on the east side of the road here um and just enough left in his tank to finish that with the pre-emerge and then um we're gonna go back and fill up or clean out his um booms tank nozzles um and then um fill it with fertilizer so we're gonna go finish this 12 acres i've got a tired farmer <laughs> so uh so we're gonna get that done okay so we finished our pre-emerge and this is our fertilizer we're switching to 1023 and we're gonna stick it in the uh, tank so we can go um, fertilize some corn while the fertilizer circulates we are switching uh, what do you call it switching um, nozzles nozzles to our fertilizer nozzles so these are for our pre-emerge that we use and these are white ones are um, for the fertilizer gives it like a more streams a stream application so pretty easy little twist and get to go turn it daddy so it fits We are using a liquid fertilizer right now is because we have about 20 acres that did not get anhydrous applied to it so we're using up the liquid fertilizer we used last year and we're gonna put it on the last 20 acres since it didn't get any anhydrous Farmer Brown, what are your aging secrets? Nah, you look 20 years younger. <laughs> what do you do? What is your regimen? <laughs> How do you age in reverse? <laughs> 
Wow, where did the day go? Uh, we're going to leave my husband to finish spraying. I got to go get the kids, and before you know it, it's milking time Hello. and feeding time. So, yeah, there they are, aren't they? Well, it's feeding time, isn't it? So, that'll be all for this video. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.